Welcome to this OMI video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to integrate HP Operations Manager for Linux so you can use OMI as a single pane of glass for monitoring across the IT enterprise. After configuring the integration, you will be able to forward events and topology from OM to OMI. Any changes to those events are synchronized between OM and OMI. Any instruction text, automatic and user-initiated actions in the events can be executed from OMI and the OMI user can also execute tools in context with the events and CIs for nodes managed by OM. There are five steps to configuring the integration. Establish a trust between OM and OMI to enable secure HTTP communications. Add OM as a connected server to OMI. Synchronize the topology from OM to OMI. Configure event forwarding from OM to OMI and validate the configuration with test events. Log in to the OMI server. In a distributed environment, this is a data processing server. Run the BBC Trust Server command to get and install the OM server certificate. Log in to the OM server and run BBC Trust Server to get and install the OMI server certificate from the OMI Gateway server. Verify that secure HTTP communications is now configured by running bbcutil-ping. This shows successful communications from OM to OMI. If you have a distributed environment, log in to the OMI Gateway server and run the command to verify secure HTTP communications from OMI to OM. The second step is to create a connected server for OM. Go to Administration, Setup and Maintenance, Connected Servers and create a new OM for Unix connected server. Enter a unique name for this connector. Enter the OM server's fully qualified domain name and an integration username. Use opc underscore ADM. Click Test Connection to verify OMI successfully connects to the OM server via HTTPS. The outgoing connection details are used to connect to OM when an OMI user retrieves instruction text or executes an action on an event that came from OM. Enter the password of the integration user, select the port, the default is 8444 for OML web services, click to retrieve the certificate which is required for HTTPS web services, then test the connection to verify the correct credentials and port. The next step is to synchronize the topology from OM to OMI. First, you need to add the OMI Gateway Server as a node in the OM node bank. Then, configure Online Topology Sync to enable all topology changes to be automatically forwarded to OMI. In order to forward the existing topology, you need to run the Start Initial Sync command. You can check that the node topology is created by refreshing the system's infrastructure view in the View Explorer. The next step is to configure event forwarding from OM to OMI. If you already use a message forwarding policy, edit it to include the OMI server. Otherwise, create a new policy like this. This policy forwards all messages to OMI. Check the syntax. Before copying the file to the correct location, and trigger OM to reread the configuration. The final step is to verify the event integration is working. Generate a test message to OM and see that it is forwarded into OMI. The source tab shows the OM server that forwarded the event. Now change the event in OMI and check that the changes are synchronized to OM.
When you acknowledge the message in OM, it is closed in OMI. You can also check that OMI can execute user actions and read instruction text for events forwarded from OM. This event was forwarded from OM, the instructions are retrieved from the OM server, the action request is sent to the OM server, which then sends the request to the agent to execute. You are now managing your events from OMI. To learn more about integrating OM with OMI, see the OMI Integrations Guide.